Okie dokie. All right, back to the quest of corn dogs and keeper booties. I wonder why I can't scan this one. That's so weird. Maybe that one doesn't want its booty to be scanned. Wait, where's this? Oh, this is back with the corn dog lady. <clears throat> All right, let's just go talk to the daddy fister. This is not with daddy fister. That's with the Khajiit. Daddy Fister is up over here. Looks like it's shut down. Oh. Where? I don't even see. so fucking tanky hello accidentally shot my teammates. I don't think there's friendly fire. Yeah, that's right. You you teach that wall. That's right. Get in there. Wait, what'd that say? Oh, okay. All right, fist, it's time for you to get fisted. Stop right there, don't come any closer. I'll <laughs> just keep throwing it. It's Fister. Oh. Mm hmm. Wait, don't kill me. I surrender. Tell me where the quarry is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecap. <laughs> I won't have to shoot you in the kneecap while I point is. at your That's head. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, Let I don't know him. where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. 
Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Well then. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. That's always confused me. I don't know where she is, but I know where you can find her. I know where I don't know, but I do know the don't knows that I don't know. Because I do know where they're at. You know? Look at him, like a loser. I only know where they're at, because I'll tell you where they're at. But I don't know where she's at. Stop getting in my way! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Got your foot. <laughs> Got your head. Got your head. Got your foot. Got your grenade. <laughs> Wait, where's the next mission point right over here? Oh, uh, maybe that's for later? I don't know. Wait, where is she at? I forgot. Where do I take this? Oh, C sect, okay. Oh, wait. Did you bring it? Who's Where's this? the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I have grenades too. Never mind, I don't have grenades. Whoa, 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 what is hitting me for so much damage? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's right, <laughs> punch him in the kneecap me up i knew i couldn't trust him you've got proof saren is working with the geth hand it over not so fast who are you i don't have time for questions i need the evidence you have against saren i guess i owe you but not out here in the open we need to go somewhere safe we could take her to the human embassy tolly what about shorty <laughs> Okay, you can ban me for that. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... 
Who's this? Who's this? Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? <laughs> Shut up and I'll tell you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. That's right, apologize to me, Saren Come on. has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. He gets medium. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must what have do you mean, Crimson? with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. The conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. The hell is a reaper? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the memory core, the reapers were a hyper advanced machine race that Did you take too many Typhon powers? The reapers what, like Typhon de Leon from Borderlands 3? And then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far fetched. It's not far fetched. It's far close. The vision on Eden Prime. Close fetched. I understand it now. <laughs> hey, Wolfpack, I saw the how are you? being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Why is the guy in the white suit so fucking crusty? The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on. He's your a politician. Board. What are you expecting? Let's I'd expect the motherfucker to use some lotion. <laughs> so crusty. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Henderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, so we got Space Boyo, Space Girlo. There we go. Accept. 
What I mean is that for me to get to the area close to the end of the game, I need leverage three, and I'm not able to do that because not enough neuro mods. I don't think there's another way to get them in the area. I'm currently in game. Can you backtrack and get them? Okay. Oh. Hmm. There we go. Okay, there we go. Save. <clears throat> now I'm stronger. Ugh. Hey, Chad, welcome back. Star Wars looks different. This is Star Wars. It's Star Wars Mass Effect Skywalker. Mass Skywalker effect. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? What's up? Commander Shepard. 
My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Well, let's just go just pay him a visit. A proper funeral and the respect she deserves. How does Darth Vader like his steaks? Well done, 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 done. Oh. <laughs> DMCA, DMCA. Let me just walk in and hack your computer. Look at all your hentai. Where's the fancy bar? I can't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secret. Oh, the consort would. You tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, the, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's. She's. Is this him? My goodness, your Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Everyone nice on this fucking planet needs chapstick. Together. I'll go now to see to it myself. Everyone's got, like, cracked, crusty-ass fucking lips. Use some chapstick, people. Just use some chapstick. It's not that hard. Alright, Mr. Batia. Oh, a keeper! I scanned the booty. Booty scanned. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. This person named Jax is really pissing me off. What? <laughs> what? Like Jax from Mortal Kombat or Jax from League of Legends?
Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking as Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Some random dude named Jax is a temporary supervisor for apparently a whole group of people, and he gave them all my phone number instead of his, and had them text me to give their phone numbers to him. Uh, can you report him for that, or go to, like, someone higher? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was expected from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers Jackson. are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the you Geth. Out, we all fault. agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna pretend to be Jax? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. Why not? No Couldn't that get you in trouble with work? Her. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. Send your fleet in. The fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep has nothing to do with my work. Attacking any more of our colonies. Well, you never clarified or when I said it has to do with work the because the supervisor, a whole group of people. That sounds like work. Over a few dozen human colonies. I don't know any of these people. Oh, well, they're just. Then just tell them that Jax has herpes or something. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's no. too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed it. I've earned this. I like the way they keep looking at him. <laughs> like, well, he's got a point. Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh my god, chat. That's right, give me a lightsaber. I'm ready to take down the Sith. Who the fuck are you guys? Where did you come from? Oh shit, it's the Jedi Council. All right. You're going to see me anointed. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination self-reliance they are the right hand of the council instruments of our will 
Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. <laughs> Thank you. What happens now? About time. <laughs> I'm on. I beat the game. See, I told you I could beat it on hard mode, Slew. You into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Deadly force always. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the council is adjourned. Insanity playthrough now. I haven't died yet, so yeah, easy. Insanity easy mode. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Why did he sound so forceful? Jesus. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. You guys might hear a motorcycle, because very loud. I don't think you will, though. Hopefully you won't. Since I'm a Jedi Master now, do I get a whole bunch of money? Hello, Commander. I think I'll be going. Oh, this isn't the commander. right person. Have a good day now. Only planes. You only hear a plane. Okay. The floor planes. Where do I go? I need to go for the training. Oh, I need to go to the docking bay. Time to get docked. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Saren? Guess? Never. The Force is all my power. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats Well, Chad, that's because you're in Texas. It's big. They got lost. The destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. The training is in your level up screen. There's a scepter skill line now. Oh shit. There we go, just level all of it up. The new Bermuda Triangle. Man, Chris, I want sushi. God damn it. <laughs> I might get that Saturday. I've got big news for you, Shepard. You finally got some chapstick with your crusty ass lips? Officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. 
You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Failure isn't that I bad. Had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. Failure is bad, it's failure? No. Failure Find isn't bad, it's just not winning. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. I don't answer to your anyone. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job! I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. That's exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. No, I was born a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. I came out of the Anderson womb as a Spectre. questions you might have. All right, time to specter it up. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have <laughs> ever been on. <laughs> The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Sarah, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. We can't fail. Yes, we can, sir. I will prove to you that we can fail. Lou, do you want some yogurt? Is that why you keep bringing it up? You want some yogurt? I got blueberry, peach, 
banana, strawberry, boysenberry, and I think that's it. Poisonberry? B b b b boysenberry. Boysenberry. And berry yogurt. Where the hell do I go? Horse head Exodus Atticen Artemis. Let's go to Horse Head. We're going to go to the head horse. Aldron can't, it's blown up. Spoilers? Yes. Let's go to Morana. Morana. Oh, I can't go there. And that, I can only go here. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted. Yeah, that's right. You better grant me. Advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> I'll gun them down. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. <laughs> Exo Presley. What happens if I shoot this? Nothing. Mako Matsura. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo. 
Atlantis Risk Control Services. <laughs> I fucking outrank you. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, man. Bring I it, can't Karen. Enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't you dare! Told you. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. I'll be keeping my gun. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock. We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. <laughs> Get ready to blast you. <laughs> we confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. Yeah, that's what I thought. I the rest of your visit will be you better take your care in somewhere else. Will meet you upstairs. Look at that fucking haircut. Look at that fucking haircut. Look at that. That literally screams Karen. Ugh. Disgusting. Can I rub it in her face? Nope. I can't. Yeah, that's right. I outrank you. I have unlimited power now. A master rank Jedi. I am Tiana Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Welcome to Port Hanshan. The galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Never. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. <laughs> Businesswoman. That's it. No name, just businesswoman. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. <laughs> that makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my real intentions he's right there why not talk to him yourself i wish i could i already bungled this myself he realized i was not a real buyer i don't know anything about binary helix 
What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thethia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics well. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement program. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. <laughs> What's my reward? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Just in case I mess up. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Is it possible to deaden pain somehow? What? Why, uh, we, we could try to make the skin insensate, I suppose. Full body numbness, atrophy out all the nerve clusters, you'd still feel internal injuries. But that's dangerously close to genetic engineering, Shepard. The laws only allow improvement of natural functions. We can't add or remove. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. Oh, he touched for his a neck. Bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package. Guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Novaria are strictly on the level. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. Oh, well, there we go. Now he's not going to see me casually walk over to this person. <laughs> Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Oh, I can ask for more? I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? 
I meant 750. Yes! <laughs> Good day, Spectre. <laughs> if they're gonna do shady business, I'm gonna do shady business. That's right. Money, money, money. Money. Good. I don't think I'm supposed to. Sleuth, they're fucking underhanded anyway. Who cares about them? I, have you seen the armor cost, dude? It like 70k. It's ridiculous. Don't hang up, elder brother. Look at me. I'm on the very end. I can't talk long. This call is costing ten credits a minute. It's real time from the trooper. Did you think it would be cheap? I need some information. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Wait, where the hell is I supposed to go? People have dealt with the corporations on Novaria in the past. They pay well and they don't ask any questions. Where's the the big man that I'm supposed to be talking to? No worries, Chris. Welcome back. Hmm. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave the station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Well, who the hell is, or where is Mr. Analeas? Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. Chris is a Genshin. What can I do for you today? I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Of course, <laughs> it's always fucking Genshin, dude. <laughs> can you DM me what happened? I can, I can have a little bit of a guess. I've been seeing some stuff on Twitter lately. Where the hell is the big man? Where's Ensolari or whatever the hell his name is? This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Fort Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? <laughs> Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. The stuff about Sumeru? Are you talking about that with the new characters? Oh, now it opens. What the hell? Okay, where? Oh, don't take the gun out. Discord? Okay.
You want me to talk to frickin' en Enceliol Alari? I don't know where that is. Or who that is. I thought they were gonna be on the top floor. Pew 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 pew! Loric Quinn? Do I talk to you? Afternoon. Oh. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do, for that matter. Who might you be? Loric Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Having some trouble with your office? Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. Fly in the lotion? He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Why would a fly be in the lotion? Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. Shit. We will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Oh, uh, we're gonna have to kill people? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on the phone screen. Getting stock options. Oh, this is not the right way. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Why does it keep doing that? From all I've heard, blizzards are quite common here. Also, hold on one second. Uh...
Chris, I like how we're talking about Genshin. I got another email from Mihoyo uh, telling content creators are like letting people know that they're getting ready for the, what is it, 2.8, 2.9, 3.0 fucking update. I'm like, ah, yes, Mihoyo. I haven't played your game in like three months, but sure, keep e <laughs> keep emailing me. That's fine. Was the garage over on this side? Oh. And security. This office is sealed. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Oh. I'm going in there and I don't want to hurt you. Why don't you just go? We'll pretend this never happened. You want to oh my god! Okay, well, uh <laughs> an audio delay uh try refreshing the stream because everything looks fine on my end All right, let's try that uh, again. <clears throat> uh, Chris, do you see any type of audio delay? I haven't noticed anything okay i know if twitch buffers or whatever um then it looks like the audio is behind or forward a bit but that's on a twitch thing it, it fixes it just by refreshing freeze henshan security this office is sealed what are you doing in these offices the administrator's orders laura keen is under investigation i don't have time for this get the hell out of here or i'll start shooting you want to cause trouble? Oh, okay. There will be no one to notice if there's no one to notice. What's this do? Fire containment? Oh! Okay. All right. Hey, zombie, how are you? What class did you go with your first? A uh, soldier or whatever it is. You know what? Let, let's let's just go shotgun. Excuse what?
All pew pew, no powers. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm assuming that's like that psionic ability or whatever. It's like people who put their passwords as one one one. Yeah, I figured I'll just go with like the basic class. Just easier. What? All right, uh, those aren't too bad. Oof, the money. All the money. Did I get what I was supposed to come here for? Or? Oh no, I have to go up. Average decryption. Alright, let's see. Oh, that was it? That was it? All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Wait, is there any stealth in this game? Oh, she wants to talk. Okay. Hello. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Oh, it's Karen. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're going to show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas could throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. What the... what? Eh? Eh? died like a loser why are you shooting oh fuck that's not my person <laughs> i thought that was garis or whatever the fuck his name is
easy peasy and no one heard anything. In space, everyone has terrible hearing. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. No, there hasn't. Would you know anything about it? <laughs> I'm entirely innocent. Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. No, I'm innocent. You know nothing. I will talk to Qui-Gon Jinn first. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? It's done. The job is done. I appreciate your discretion. I hope I will never again be so careless as to find myself in these circumstances. I believe you require a garage pass. As well, I would provide a sum of 500 credits. Does uh, that sound fair to you? Not as fair as it could be, but it'll do. I'm grateful for your help. My office will reopen with much improved profit margins, I dare say. I have some calls to make. Starting with Mr. Analeas. Okie dokie. I think that's where I'm gonna gonna save it for today because I have to get some cleaning done and then I have to go to the grocery store. But I've liked it so far. I like it. He's doing things differently. That's why I love to watch new Mass Effect players. Yeah, I'm just kind of going as I see fit. I don't know if it's gonna screw me over at the end, but uh, I will see. But so far, I'm liking it. I, I like games like this where you just kind of pick what you want and deal with the consequences later. <laughs> like, it's just go as you go as you please. But uh, thank you all for hanging out. I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you have a good rest of your Thursday. Okadoke. Bye bye.